All right, so we are recording again. Yes, and now we're going to do some charts. And you must excuse me if these charts look a bit complicated. But I've tried to put a North Indian chart and a South Indian chart with both the Rashi and Navamsha. Rashi and Navamsha here, Rashi and Navamsha here. So I can explain these principles step by step. Okay? So the thing is, what we're in, moving into is the full chart analysis with this. We're getting into full chart analysis. Because we're going to combine some information about the Navamsha with the information in the Rashi. All right? Now, I have made some notes here. But let me try and just, you know, let's say wing it. You know, let me show you how I'll go about it. Because I have this chart of a woman, Evelyn Walsh McLean, and I want to focus on Mars in her chart. All right? The reason I want to focus on Mars in her chart is because she, I'm very concerned with Kendra's in Rashi chart, you know? I believe Kendra's in the Rashi chart are very important for wealth. I know we all this time we're talking about Ramsha, but I have to explain a few basics about Rashi chart also. Kendra's in Rashi are very important for wealth because this is your prime support, your pillars of your life. So in this person's chart, I have noticed that in these Kendra's, among them, one of them has a Dushtana Lord. All right? Mangal is the 12th Lord, and it is in 10th house. So what I first understand from this chart is, if a Dushtana Lord is in 10th house, the person is going to uh, lose wealth, and it's going to be because of the planet in or lording the 10th house. Mm -hmm. Now, so I know that Mars has come to, to take some money here. That's what I know. And I know that Mars is also the fifth Lord. So when Mars comes to cause loss, he will do so, with an excuse or some topic which is related to kids. Okay? So Dano Lagna, be careful, losses can happen on account of kids. It may not be the kids who themselves who cause it, but there's some topic related to kids which is a problem. Yeah, so regarding this, uh, sometimes people debate that because the Mool Trikon sign is Aries and it's in the fifth house, so it should actually do good and on those it's like saying that you are gaining things because of expenses because the other sign is in the 12th house so is, this uh, person lost hundred thousand dollars and got nothing out of it oh okay and this was back in uh, the uh, 19 early 1900s that's that's like a million today or something okay so so it doesn't work all right okay. and uh, now what does Mars say? What is Mars going to say? What will be his excuse? Why will he come and say, oh, I need your money? Why will he do it? He will say, eh, I know security. I'm a guard. Okay? He'll say, I can, I can protect you. That's what his excuse will be. You know, it's like protection money. Oh, okay. So whenever Mars shows up, it will be something like either protection money or property. Or it could also be a brother, sibling. Right? Something like that. I can get that idea. Mars indicates such things. All right. Now, so what happens? And now, a little bit more. This is a woman's chart. Fifth house in a woman's chart does not indicate her own children. Ninth house is her own children because she has a garba. She can carry kids in her garba. The garba chakra is the ninth house. Small thing, small principle. For men, we see fifth house for children, but women have this ability. They can have children which are not their own. So we differentiate between those that they have biologically and those that they will adopt. Fifth house. Or anybody else's child. Okay? Yeah, adopting women are adopting, that's fifth house. And if they're producing themselves, it's the ninth. Correct. Fantastic. Yes. Now, we, have, we make that distinction for women, not for men because women carry the children, they have that added advantage. So in this chart, we notice that this fifth Lord Mars is not about her own child, it's somebody else's child. So this is what happened. This is what happened. There was this famous kidnapping in the US, which was the ki kidnapping of the Lindbergh baby. All right? And it happened in, uh, what was it? I forget the date now. All right, I forget the date now. Already in 1932, I think it happened. All right. And uh, so this was a very famous case. 
And she called a BI agent, BOI agent. Back in the days of US, there was no FBI. Okay, it was called BOI or just BI. So he came and he said to this woman, I can help you in finding this kidnapped child. So this is not her own child, this is somebody else's child. But it's a famous case everybody's talking about in the news. And this woman is a very wealthy woman. So she calls this FBI agent and he says, I can help you find this child. I will do it. Because she was worried, what if her own kids get kidnapped? You see the pretty thing? She was worried, fear, mangal, fear. So she's worried her kids will get kidnapped and she called the FBI agent. And then he says, I can find this child for you. I will investigate. Mm -hmm. But I need some funds to help me do this because I have to do some traveling. So she sells a property of hers, a very huge property for $100,000, which back then was a lot of money, huge amount of money. Okay? And gives to this guy. Now, question. Is she going to get anything for her money? Let's see Navam Shah of Mars. We're going to decide. You have done something. Is it good for you? Mars is in the fourth house in Navam Shah. So this is Kendra. So we should say good, right? She will benefit somehow. But no, this is fourth house. This is Karabhava. Okay. Her protection is going to be broken. And she could have a severe traumatic experience after this is over. Okay, this could be a traumatic experience that occurs to her because of this guy. All right, you could expect she is going to be cheated very badly by this month. Very badly. Because the reason the fourth house makes you suffer is because it's breaking your innocence. That means before that event, she was innocent. What innocent is this? Her trust. She's trusting the wrong man. So it's actually showing that you'll be cheated if this is the case, right? See that? And if this Mars was in suppose 10th house, then this would she will have... become wealthy because of this. All right. The man will come and make her wealthy. All right. There'll be again, again, here it would go to Aquarius if it was in 10th. So we don't worry because it's 10th house, right? That means benefiting from something lost. <laughs> Some people were earned from that, right? From losing things. Yes, yes. Now, so we expect shock and trauma. This is our expectation. Now, what will be the topic that this man gives? The, the, the agenda this man gives and speaks about, which will eventually cause this trauma. So Mars is in Leo and Navamsha. So see Leo and Rashicha over here. And the axis is ninth house and third house. See that? Ninth and third. So both of these will be the reason. So he will say, I need travel expenses. Third house. That is for short distance travels. Okay? Because they are living in the East Coast somewhere. And he goes to California. He takes the 100,000 and goes to California. All right? And the ninth house is also activated. So there's also some topic about... You know, something like us. I don't know the exact discussions about something about the fortunes of the family and whatnot. You know, you, we should protect the fortunes, things like that. Soon she figured out that after a few months, he'd spent all the money and didn't find anything. Then he called her again. Can you send me some more money? By now, she felt very badly cheated. And she called the, uh, the police and they found out he had cheated other people as well. And he was basically going around cheating people, taking their money and running off. And they caught him. All right. So why did she not lose more money due to this? Because the tenth lord is in the ninth house. Okay. Tenth lord is in the ninth house. Her fortunes are not completely destroyed. They're not. Mm hmm because the Lord of the Kendra is still well placed. I don't like it's with Rahu, but it's still not terribly placed. All right. So she was protected to some extent, but still there was some loss. Twelfth Lord in a Kendra. So now we're getting the picture. You see how we're going to do this inf use this information to get the full picture. Let me try another chart. So if that Mars was in any uh -huh. other Kendra, so mm -hmm. like 
first uh, seventh and tenth, then this there would have been some chances that you would benefit. Yes. Okay. She Even if it's the twelfth lord of the Rashi, still you would benefit. Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I know. I get it. <laughs> yes, this is very Raj Jyotish type stuff, right? What would be the final outcome? Hmm? Yeah, fantastic. Even if somebody, maybe you lose a lot of money, maybe you lose something valuable, but then afterwards, what happens? Ah, okay. I know somebody, they divorced and they lost their entire library of books. Spouse burnt it all. All right. After that, the person became famous and wealthy for writing books. Peculiar, peculiar. The person became famous. So basically, what you are saying here is because in the Lagna chart, the twelfth lord is in ten, so there is some form of loss which is guaranteed. Yeah. But because here, if it was in a different kendra. Then that would have later on made her very wealthy. Yes. The dilemma that also arose here was after this event, the whole fortunes of her family started dwindling. Also, All right. this is very unfortunate. This is only the beginning of the misfortunes. Okay. Uh -huh. Here's another chart. Now, this is a young man. His name is Nahuel Pinisi. He's from Argentina. Okay. And uh, you notice if you look at his chart, you will see Jupiter's exalted, all right? But if Jupiter's exalted, Sagittarius will always suffer because it's an eight they're from. Keep that in mind. When Jupiter's exalted, Sagittarius will suffer a lot. All right. This is 10 from Lagna. Now watch, Moon is in Moon is in eight from Lagna as well. Okay? Now, there's a thing. Jamini says the 10 from Moon and 10 from Lagna rule eyesight. This person's 10 from Lagna is loaded by Jupiter and Dushvama from Jupiter, from Sagittarius. The person's 10 from Moon is Cancer, and the Lord of Cancer Moon is in, Mar is in Ashtama, Chandrashtama. The person is blind. Oh. Yeah. Okay. The person's absolutely blind. I think there's a little bit of eyesight, but mostly blind. All right. Now, but here's the thing. Look carefully here. You see this moon over here? Yes. Moon being fifth Lord is join the sixth Lord's sun. And at first glance, you won't think too much about this moon and sun. All right? Fifth and sixth Lord. But, but Parashara says that if fifth and sixth Lords are joined and the Lagna Lord is strong, the person will have Shankar Yoga. And this is a yoga which causes them to do great things. Start something new that the world has not seen before. They have the Shankar of Jagannath in their hands. So despite the person's blindness, the same planet's contributing. Moon is contributing to blindness. Jupiter is contributing to blindness. But the same Jupiter is Lagnesh strong, very determined person, very strong person. Okay. And the moon is the lord of that fifth and has joined the sun, the sixth lord. This is contributing to Shankar Yoga. So this is a specific yoga. The person will start something new that the world has not seen before. Okay. And it's moon and sun, right? They're really doing it. Now, look at this moon and sun in the Namamsha. Sun is in the Lagna. And it is not regular. So you said, oh, what if it's debilitated? It is Bhagotama sun in Lagna. Okay? Do you think the person might be a good, good musician? Right? Lady Gaga, sun in Lagna. Moon is in trines. Wait. Same, same as Gaga, right? Yes. This person is going to benefit a lot from the sun, sun in Lagna, and is also going to be having lots of knowledge of moon. This person is an excellent guitarist, despite not able to being able to see the guitar. Wow. Yeah, excellent guitarist, all right? And is only born in 1990, okay? They're not very old. They're already receiving awards for their work in Argentina. And he has a peculiar way of playing the guitar. He doesn't play it like you regularly do. He, he's, he's, holding the, he's holding it flat like a table and then he plays on it because he's blind. So it's easier for him to do it that way. And not only can he do it, he is also famous for it in Argentina. 
Yeah. Here one question I want to ask. You have written here, son Bhargottama in D9 Lagna gives excellent musical ability. Yes. Now, suppose this Bhargottama is occurring, but it is not in trines or kendras. So then it is still benefiting the person with knowledge, but maybe it's not giving an ability. All right. Yeah. That's a maybe factor. It will still be music, but maybe he's not playing if it's not in trines. Yeah, okay. it is also good if you can uh, speak on this Bhargottama thing later on because many people keep asking if it is exalted. The simple in... thing is that this, uh, this relates to something we call Graha Lagna. All right. The planet is in first house from itself. So if it was second house from itself, Rashi Navamsha, that means it's focusing not on the head but on the Agya Chakra. And then if it's in third, it's focused on the Vishuddhi Chakra. So there are chakras indicated by Grahas. This has a lot to do with the Graha's intentions for you. The best thing I can say is that you can learn all of these. Uh, Vargotama will always be a topic. Vargotama means a Rishi is sitting on your head. And the Rishi is the Graha sitting there. It's a Rishi, a sage. And that sage is blessing you with full knowledge. Almost like intuitively you will know things. Okay? You will pick up your head and say, go here, Nisti, go there. Put there. That's where you have to go. All right? So there's a, there's a Rishi sitting up here and you know, if you know mantra, uh, mantra yoga, then you know that the Rishi is always worshipped on the top of the head. All right? And even some people, they will worship their Rishi with the flower. They'll offer it to the top of the head like this. Because there's always a Rishi always sits, sits here. So if there's a Vargotama planet, that Graha is imbibing a Rishi on the top of the head. The person themselves is not a Rishi. It means that the, there's a Rishi guiding them. So if I go to my planets, means there's a Rishi guiding the person. Okay. Yeah. So here, for example, sun is Vargotama. Then how do you recon I mean, how do you un understand this practically that sun it means is Kashyapa Rishi is sitting on the person's head. Sun is Kashyapa Rishi. Oh. All right. And he's guiding the individual and giving great abilities related to the sun. And that ability or skill or knowledge is distinctly because sun in Navamsha Lagna related to music. And this is benefiting him wealth wise also. We know it's benefiting him wealth wise. Yes. Fantastic. That's right. So this is taking that one step further, right? Let me show another chart. Ah, now this is the, this was my personal reason for doing this webinar. Okay. Kim Kardashian. And it's not that I'm interested in studying her chart. But the thing is, I got a chart of a client who has the same chart as Kim Kardashian. And so I became thrilled because now I can start looking at what could the Rashi do and what could the Navamsha do? What was it that Navamsha allowed or disallowed? All right. So, I, so here I'm going to share how, how this works. You see, in Kim Kardashian's chart, Mars is in the Lagna in own sign in Lagna. We say this is a very good yoga. All right. This is usually supposed to give fame and name, good reputation, good appearance, good health, good, a good body, all those things. All, that will happen. All right? Lagna, Lord in Lagna. Can you confirm it? Does the person benefit from this fame? Mars? In the tenth house. Tenth house. The person is supposed to get lots of wealth because of this. All right? Lots and lots of wealth. Mars intent is in Digbala. It has a special connotation when it's intent. Full focus on that. Full energy to that. All right? Yes. Now, I know some people are going to now ask me after this, but Visti, Mars in Libra is not that much money. It's not exalted. It's not anything. Okay? And uh, this is because of what I was mentioning earlier. Uh, asset wealth versus... Uh, what I call debt wealth yes. versus actual money. Yeah, exactly. Now, so how to really differentiate? This doesn't look like a lot of actual, uh, 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 this doesn't look like a lot of actual money. Okay. So, but I still want to know how does she have this that she has. So now do this. Look at her Aruda Lagna over here. Okay. This is the real decider. In the Rashi chart, Aruda Lagna is in Pashis. See the 12th, see the 11th they're from. Capricorn. Okay. Now, who is there? Ketu. Right. Who's the Lord? Saturn. 
if either Ketu or Saturn are exalted or debilitated in the Mamsha, the person is very wealthy. Oh, okay. very, very well. If it's Vargotama, it's very wealthy again. Atmakaraka, very wealthy again. So, what are the four? Ucha, exalted, debilitated, Vargotama, Atmakaraka. Very, very wealthy. So, this I think is. If you find a chart of a wealthy person and this is not there, show me the chart. So this so is for the, every the, child I've seen which has this, they are very wealthy. All right. So the planet which is ruling the 11th house from the Arudha Lagna or mm -hmm. which is placed. In all the, the planet placed there, yes. You see it back in the Navamsha. Yes. Oh, fantastic. So watch this. K2. K2 is in Capricorn. It's in Cancer Navamsha. Not Vargotama, not Exalted, not Debilitated, no Atmakarka. Atmakarka is here, Mercury. Okay. Out. Not possible. Now watch. Saturn is the Lord, Saturn in Rashi, not exalted, not debilitated in Rashi, okay? Debilitated in Amamsha. Very wealthy, very wealthy. But it was not this Mars. It wasn't this Mars, nor was it the 10th Lord Venus in Amamsha. So this Mars is leading to wealth, but the, this, this Saturn is giving some wealth which is coming elsewhere. This is not asset wealth, this is another type of wealth. Okay. okay, another type of wealth means? Well, it will be Saturnian. The person will earn from products related to Saturn. Okay. okay. Like it could be oils, uh, creams could also be part of this if Venus is associated. It could be uh, actual petroleum. It could be investment in stocks and shares. All right. Saturn indicates such wealth. Okay. Right. And here I see Venus is in Scorpio, I think, in the Navamsha. SK Shukra, right? Yeah. So... This is not giving. Uh, this is not giving much of asset wealth. Okay. Okay. All right, but we do know her lagna lord is giving her fortune. You see that? That's what I wanted to show. Let's try the next case. I think. Uh, yeah, we can do it in the next. We should finish this case. Though. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Same chart. All right. So many things are the same. The big difference is that Navamsha Lagna has changed. Okay, yes, yes. Navamsha Moon has also changed. Okay? Atma Karaka has also changed. But the Rashi chart is the same. So when I saw this, I said, wow! Hello, what's this? Now watch this. Let me just talk about Mars again. Because we know Kim Kardashian earns from her appearance. Right to say? Now look at this Mars. Same Mars in the Lagna. If you're supposed to give fame and name and reputation. Now look at Navamsha. Mars is in fourth. Ouch. Problem. We didn't want that, yes? We wanted to avoid that for fourth house. Admittedly, Mars is in on sign. Sorry. Mars is in on sign here. So there is some protection, but there will still be a problem. Okay? So I can say, worst trauma is not there. It's in on sign. But there will be some problem. For this person is wealthy because they have a restaurant business okay a chain of restaurants and they have some fame associated with that all right but the problem is because of that fame they have also been cheated and even robbed because of it you see how that fourth is working but this person is not a person who is becoming a movie star or a model. Because the Mars went to fourth in Navamsha. Every time they move in a direction to use their appearance, they get cheated or somehow hurt. All right? That's what's going on here. All right. Those were my slides, Prabhajit. That's it? <laughs> that is it for now, yes. For now. This is a lot. To share, and then, uh, we'll uh, do the last section and some question answers. I have, I will ask them. Okay, thank That's you. A deal.